In this video, we're going to examine how to evaluate a polynomial for a specific value using function notation. So we're told here p of x equals 3x cubed minus 2x minus 9, and we want to find p of 4 and p of negative 3. And this is written in our function notation. Now our function notation is just a fancy way of evaluating a polynomial. What you do is you're taking your 4 and you're going to be plugging it in for your x in the polynomial. So if I want to do p of 4, what that means is replace your x value in the polynomial with 4 and then perform out of order of operations to evaluate it. So you have 3 times, instead of x cubed, I'm going to put 4 cubed. Minus 2 times x, instead of x, I'm going to put 4. So minus 2 times 4, minus 9. So now, when we ignore this left side of the equation. Nothing is happening over here. This is just telling me I'm evaluating the function p at x equals 4. So we just work on this right side doing order of operations. So first, I have 3 times 4 cubed. Exponents come first. 4 cubed is 64. So 3 times 64 minus 2 times 4, so minus 8, minus 9. And so we have 3 times 64. We have 192, minus 8, and minus 9 which gives us 175. And so that is the value of p of 4. If I want to do p of negative 3, it's the same idea. I'm going to plug negative 3 in for x in my polynomial. So p of negative 3 means you place your x variable with negative 3. So 3 times x cubed becomes 3 times negative 3 cubed minus 2 times x, 2 times negative 3, minus 9. And then we just focus on this right side and evaluate the expression. So negative 3 cubed is negative 27. So I have 3 times negative 27. Negative 2 times negative 3 is a positive 6, minus 9. 3 times negative 27 is negative 81. So you have negative 81 plus 6 minus 9, which is going to be negative 84. So that's function notation. Evaluating a polynomial is the p of x equals your polynomial. When you're trying to evaluate it for a specific number, you just take that number and plug it in for x. So same idea, p of 4 first. And that's just telling you you're going to replace the x variable with 4. So I have 4 squared minus 3 times 4 plus 2. 4 squared is 16 minus 3 times 4 minus 12 plus 2. 16 minus 12 is 4 plus 2 is 6. And so now I know the value of the function at p of 4. And I do the same thing for p of negative 3. I take negative 3 and plug it in for my x. Now, when you're plugging in a negative with an exponent, you want to make sure you put it inside of a parenthesis. So negative 3 squared minus 3 times negative 3 plus 2. So negative 3 squared is a positive 9. Negative 3 times negative 3 is a positive 9. And then plus 2. So 9 plus 9 is 18, plus 2 is 20. So in these two examples, these four evaluating a polynomial using function notation problems, we're dealing with numerical values we're plugging in. Find p of 4, find p of negative 3, given your p function. 